Private insurers, we've learned now, are either reimbursing or paying for at-home COVID tests to help slow the spread. And while this plan works for most of us, there are some, in fact, that are left out. In tonight's What's the Deal report, our Allison Gormley tells us who's included and a new change designed to cover more people. Having a few COVID tests on hand is important to Stan Mills. I'm over 60, and at that point, you want to uh, you want to be safe. Safe so he and his wife can go about life. When getting together with people, I just like it's a common courtesy to be able to test and say I've tested and uh, I'm negative. When the president announced that private insurers would be required to pay for at-home tests, Mills bought some and submitted his receipts only for his carrier to deny him. They said, well, your policy is a non-ACA policy and uh, we don't reimburse and that was the end of the discussion. Mills has a short-term insurance policy, and short-term plans go by a different set of rules. They don't have to worry about pre-existing conditions. They can put a cap on how much they'll cover. They can do all sorts of things that a regular long-term plan cannot do. Patient advocate Caitlin Donovan said short-term plans are one of the few exclusions under the current policy. When it comes to COVID tests, the easiest thing for anyone to do is just find the, your insurer's number on the back of your ID card, call, and just ask them. Medicare was also excluded initially, but it was announced Thursday that this spring, those patients will be able to get over-the-counter tests at no cost. Now, if you're someone like Mills or you're waiting for that Medicare spring start, here are your options. You can order free tests online from the federal site, and you can also swing by the Marion County Health Department, who said they have tests today. Meyer is also starting to offer free COVID PCR tests. All you have to do is register online.